Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday. I know we are here in Dallas land. I know the Eagles are literally licking their wounds because the Philadelphia Eagles literally got punched in the face back-to-back -back weeks, and they do not like it. You know, I <laughs> it, it reminds me of the bully. Usually, when you bully a guy, usually you're kind of scared inside. And when you call the bully up and hit him, because see, here's what my dad used to always say. You know, here, here's what my dad used to always say. In fact, I remember... In elementary school, you know, we I was one of the first classes that integrated and things like that and things. And I had some kids, I don't want to get too graphic about it and stuff, but that were always messing with me. It was a group of them and things. And I would go home and I'd tell them, you know, my parents, my dad said, we're going to go to school and talk to people. And we went to the school with the principal and he said, look, here's these you know, kids are ganging up on him and everything else. And she said, now, Mr. Holmes, you know, we're trying to do everything to take care of it and stuff. But, you know, kids will be just kids. So my dad turned to me and said, he said, son, you pick up a stick or a brick and you knock the biggest one upside the head. And I guarantee you the rest of them will not ever mess with you again. Now, now Mr. Holmes, oh, no, no call for that. But my dad's right, though. It's easy to be a bully till you get punched in the face. Then you back down. Here's what D-Law said. Shout out to Richard Rugg for sending me this clip. I've been on the road getting back here. And after being up late last night, I laid down on the couch and took me a little nap. That's right. It's nap time for the old guy before we have not one but two games tonight. Listen to D-Law. Here we go. Here we go. League, the game plan was simple and brutally efficient. Hit a motherfucker in the face over and over and over and over again until they quit. And when they quit, hit them again and again and again and again. Okay, we want to quickly apologize for some sound we aired a couple moments ago from that Cowboys piece. Some foul language was used, so I just want to say apologies for that on our behalf. Unintentional mistake there, but in the meantime, we're going to move over to ESPN2. Get up starts right now. Let, we'll see you over on ESPN2. Let, 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 let's see. The game plan was simple and brutally efficient. One more time. Hit a motherfucker in the face over and over and over and over again until they quit. And when they quit, hit them again and again and again and again. Wow. I okay, want to quickly <laughs> apologize for some sound we aired a couple moments ago from that Cowboys piece of. Wow. And it felt like the Eagles, you could see them sitting on the sideline like it was a Southwestern commercial. Do you want to get away? Do you want they wanted they wanted to get away. They wanted to get away. And Dan Quinn, <clears throat> Dan Quinn, shout out to Dan Quinn. You know how, you know, there's so many things that happen with Cowboy fans that we always end up looking and saying, oh, this ain't this ain't nothing. I can't believe we did this thing. In fact, you know, Skip Bayless, who's up there, my Dallas Cowboy, my I mean, shut up, Skip. Because when people remember the Cowboys hired Dan Quinn, they said, oh, that loser. That loser, did you see what happened to Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl? They melted down. Their defense was terrible. Why are we getting this guy to be the defensive coordinator? Dan Quinn has been a genius, okay? And I'm going to say it like, uh, the Sopranos, he used to say man genius. Okay, he's not a man genius. Well, he is a man. He's a genius. Dan Quinn knows how to let the dogs loose and to fire them up because that's what 
you need you need to bludgeon now, you know people try the nfl is trying to make the nfl game look like oh it's golf it's it's a sport of gentlemen no it's freaking war and if you beat the shit out of somebody they want to quit they don't want no more dan quinn said he sent a text a group text to the entire defense after sunday's win over the eagles he paraphrases to reporters that was a warrior effort one that was from the heart and you could tell you could tell because we've been on the other side of that thing with san francisco sometimes where we just get our cast kicked our teeth kicked in and they don't want no more see this is the thing that's funny about football if you've never played football you will have games You'll have games by the third quarter. You just want that thing to end. Yeah, I, I just, I've had enough, man. And there's other ones. You're in the fourth quarter. You don't want it to end. Because when you are molly whopping somebody, when you are kicking their teeth in, when you are dominating and superior, you enjoy that feeling. And you want to keep it going over and over again. I hope that this is the blood in the water and the feeling that the Cowboys got. I got really emotional during the live stream early in that game because this is what i begged for this is what i said i need all of the crap that the dallas cowboys have taken from the media bullies and things um i didn't see speak and i'm gonna look up online and see if i see some clips in here what shady mccoy had to say about the ass kicking the ass ass job that his quarterback mvp had because they looked like some shit to the point where it wasn't even close they had no chance they walked into a buzzsaw for the second week in a row they got dominated, and I'm not sure they're going to recover. It's easy for, you know, Eagles talking people say, well, they got an easy schedule. You know, they can still win the the, 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 the division and, 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 and stuff, and maybe San Francisco loses, and, you know, we're, we're fine. No, you're not fine. You're not fine. You limped out of AT&T Stadium, beat down. And I don't know that you guys will recover from that one because that was the game that the dallas cowboys said hey we don't have to take this shit no more we don't have to take that shit no more from the time micah parsons bloodied the nose of lane johnson and literally was held while he was running through lane johnson to get to jalen hurts that's when you kind of look at i'm sure in that huddle the Eagles offensive line was looking and saying, oh, shit. One more time for good measure here, because I, I think I'm going to save this one. League, the game plan was simple and brutally efficient. Hit a motherfucker in the face over and over and over and over again until they quit. And when they quit, hit them again and again and again and again. Okay, want to quickly apologize for some sound we aired a couple moments ago. From yeah. This is how you do it. Na 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 na. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. Versus I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Kayla Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> They have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Kayla Carter? It's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh 